and this is gonna be class 85. We're gonna go really fast, 85, 86, 87. We'll go really fast, I have a feeling. And then we'll be moving into the um, junior division drive. So we're right here with Doug Pierce, the judge, who was like, had his back to us there. He was checking him out. And this is gonna be the um, Red Junior, first class of the Red Juniors. Red Junior Bulls in the arena. We'll start the class with the bull that's serving out the head this month's on bull, but in the three large frame bulls, for me, I think he's put together the best in terms of the skeleton. He's a clinker pattern bull that has some muscle shape right in the center of this quarter. He's not the biggest bone, but if you study this bull, I think he's the cleanest pattern. He's probably the soundest on his feet legs. Not only is he flexes the ground as he goes, he goes straighter than the other two bulls. The bull that comes in second, I like his uh, depth of body to be bit juicier middle, just a notch more modern his frame size, he gets a little bit heavier in the seat, and he's not quite as much to around the same portion of his round. The bull that comes out next is probably one of the heavier bone bowls, but he gets in at his knee and in at his hock, I like to change that about him. Uh, another bowl that's got a lot of performance, a lot of body, and a lot of bone. Placing class 85, first place gets at between 2305 and the Second entry 2274 Moreno Ranches. And third entry 2268 Jane Rich. Entering the ring is class 86. Which one of Moreno's won? Bulls captain number one. Which one was first of Moreno's? Sponsor of this class is K Mark Hall. Because there was two in the class. There's no way to know because they both they both had nines on them. So I can't. I mean, they cut it off. Can you ask? Well, she announced it a second ago. I missed it. And this is going to go really fast because there's two in this and like three in the other. Two different types of bowls, and you've got to just take care of your pick of which one you think is the most ideal in terms of type of kind. And I, I certainly are going to pick one of the bowls that's the more modern in every aspect of his body design. He's a bull that's not the biggest bull in the class with the biggest bone, but I think he presents the nicest silhouette in terms of his balance of bull that's clean pattern. He's not the biggest bull in the class, but I think he's the right type of bull. If you want to add skeletal width, if you want to add bone, if you want to moderate frame size, if you want to just make him wider, pick the bull in second, take him over, put him out on a set of cows. To me, he gets a little bit wider up in the shoulder than he needs to be ideally. To be stronger in the line of snow, but you feel appreciate the flexibility to a skeleton, but not the most. Okay, in that last class, um, the first place was Moreno Mr. Ron Hawk, and that's a Mr. V8 380 over six sun out of TJF uh, Miss Red Velvet. And in second was also a Moreno entry. That was Moreno first Mr. Reckoning out of, um, I'm sorry, by Moreno Mr. Risky and out of Moreno Miss Lady. 
And then in this last class, we had the first place was KR Mr. General Lee. That's going to be a KR Mr. Red Catfish son um, and out of KR Miss Passport. And in second place was the Mr. Principi Apache. That's going to be a Mr. J.S. True Rouge son out of L.M. Miss Mercedes Princess. So we're moving along into class number 87, and then we'll do the drive. 87, class 87, and then we'll go into this junior champion bull drive. So this is class 87. We'll be doing the junior champion drive next. Junior champion red drive will be next. guys just be glad I didn't drop y'all I just dropped my phone but I didn't drop y'all <laughs> okay this is the last red junior bull class prior to the um, drive Boy, is the more honest bull the pair in terms of his body condition score in my mind that bull that's a in my opinion, it's bigger than his forearm. He raises me more real muscle shape down his top and behind. I'd like to make both of the bulls thicker ended, but just like when you look at hogs, if they've got, if they get thicker and it's a moment where they go down that corner, that's real muscle and not just fat showing that bit. And that bull gets wider as you go down to the lower force of the body cavity. When he raises me behind, so about this. In fact, to me, he's pushing all the front end. Many times, they're really good behind his head. I like the bottom frame size and the flexibility of skeleton in the bull that stands in second. He has more side butt shape if you look at him from the profile, but he is the heavier condition bull. And so, to me, he's a lot of that width. Okay, that guys, sorry about that. I'm looking for muscle and bulls, but I like him to be easy flexing as well. But that's how I like him to be bull. So, we had Walter's Romeo Rojo which is an SRS Bernardo 100 um, son. That was uh, our class winner, and that is out of Lady H, Alicia Rojo. And then FBB Mr. Reagan 111 was second in that class. That's a Mr. V8 279 over seven out of Moreno, Miss Lady Roberto. Now we're gonna have first place entry is 2305, Moreno, Mr. Rock, 25. This is the Entry Junior Championship Drive. Junior Champion Drive with the Red Bull. Entry 2382. Walters Livestock with Walters Romeo Rojo. We're going to have three bowls in here. Out of that first class, that was the Moreno entry. That was the Moreno Mr. Ronco. And uh, that bull is a Mr. V8 380 son out of TJF Miss Red Velvet. Right here in the center, we have Ken Ramsey, Ken Ramsey Brahmins. This is gonna be KR Mr. General Lee 555. He is a KR Mr. Red Catfish 777 son out of KR Miss Passport 435. And then we move back here to the Walters Livestock entry. They are showing for Walter's Livestock. This is Walter's Romeo Rojo. This is an SRS Bernardo 100 son out of Lady H. Alicia Rojo.
This is our Junior Champion Red Drive. As I look at the first and second place exhibitors out here in the line, I, I'm really proud that I used the three that I did to win the class because to me, they produce, they represent the right type of guy. They're not extreme anywhere, but they're good and they're skeleton. They, they flex where they should. Some goals ain't want to go like they should, but I don't think it's because of the skeleton. I think it's because they're tired and they're out of their head. But I think this belt is exactly put together where they should be able to move. There's some differences in the caliber one that wins the first class. As I said, he wasn't the stoutest feature, but he was the nicest design for it. It's your life to get a little more width to go along with that size and scale he has. Gold look a lot different if he was deeper side and bigger in it. We can find that biggest at the end in the bowl that wins our intermediate class in this division. The bowl that's really big bone, he's got some body. He needs to be a little more athletic on his hock. You know, as I said before, his skeleton dictates he should, but he's not doing it today, so I have to go with what I see. But the bull, I love him when he stops. He's probably one of my favorite bulls when he does stop. Then you've got the bull that, that wins class three. He's just as big bone as the one out of class two. He's got just as big a forearm. He lays down the flexors in his shoulder, maybe a little bit faster in his heart. He's not as thick power, he's not as thick end. He's the bull that wins the second class. But he's the bull that's got plenty of body and he does get out and walk on the skill that dictates he should walk and today. That makes him the winner in this division. Congratulations. Okay, so Walter Romeo was going to be the champion in that class, in that division. The junior champion is going to go to Walters Romeo Rojo coming in for reserve consideration is going to be Lily Larson's well, FBB Mr. Reagan 111. I just like the silhouette of how the waist put together. Come on, buddy, walk out of the ring a little more flexing as hard as I like that to be reserved. Congratulations. Okay, reserve champion is going to be the um, General Lebel. Alrighty, those were our red junior champions, and we'll be coming back with the gray junior.